than to play at like a Gommel or something like that, right? So I don't know. I think Zap is going to surprise a lot of people this weekend. Leo being his first opponent, this is this is great so chance. Rough, I mean, if you want to beat somebody to impress the world. This is just about the, the pinnacle of that. Well, and he's got Spargo later today, too, which is yeah. yet another oh. one. And Spargo's an interesting one because he's beat him multiple times online. Exactly. That's what I was going to say. Like uh, We have a few of the coin box regulars that's, that Zap has met many times in practice. We have H-Box here. Spargo. This is basically just <laughs> yeah. the coin box. It's Spargo, Sonics, and Shiny Mark all present. So I don't know, man. I think if he runs into those players, which obviously he will at least run into Spargo, then he's got a confidence booster. I think before we, we focus in on what's going on in the, the early days of this match, that's a, another like point in Zap's favor is you've got so many other examples of great, great players at the top of their game who started grinding Wi-Fi. You know, right. your Sonics, your Spargo, your Shiny Mark, and your TM7 Zap, who's currently up a stock versus Leo after catching him in the corner there. By the way, not only did he qualify for this event by winning a bracket, he did it with a no-hitter. Zero games dropped against a lot of really talented guys. So, I don't know, man. I think to sleep on Zap would be a mistake, and he's showing you just why a stock and a half up on MK Leo right now. Arsene does pop, though, so this is Leo's opportunity to equalize, and he does so perfectly with a back air. Only 48 on him, but a mostly full Arsene meter is the important thing. So he's got the opportunity to build up a lot of damage. Zap just going to play the keep away game for a little bit until Big Brother goes goodbye. Very smart. But right. doesn't work out. Oh, oh, oh. Uh oh. Optimal damage there from Leo. About 50%. They're all tied up, but down throw is still going to combo the very heavy Bowser Jr. Leo I also, I think, actively trying to space to hit above the Clown Car because it does do more damage it if does. you hit uh, Bowser Jr. Oh, instead wait, of the Oh, wait, does it the do card. more damage? Or it's more knockback. I think it's just yeah. more knockback, yeah. Yeah, and when you throw him, it's always the lower knockback. Yes. So he gets throw comboed pretty hard. What a wow. character. Zap looking for uh -oh. the big hits right now. Not just the forward smash at the ledge, but also the cart into up B. This character can kill the shit out of you. And Whoa. the late hit of that fair connecting with Leo 2, forgetting that it has two hitboxes, so dropping shield a little bit early, but gets his feet underneath him and gets his big brother to come help him. Take the controller, I can't beat this level. <laughs> it's tricky, man, because that move only has two hitboxes if you land with it. So letting your guard down early happens a lot. Oh. I remember at uh, LMBM 2022, I played for like an hour and a half versus Yoda Cage because I was just like, I don't understand this character. I need to learn. Please help. <laughs> and I learned so much weird stuff. I thought from you were going to say absolutely nothing. No, I, I learned so much about how odd this character is. Yeah, he's, he's pretty bizarre. I actually used to mess with him a lot back in like Smash 3DS. I thought this was going to be my guy. And then he was shit. <laughs> Well, I think he's acceptable TM7 Zap definitely proving that is not the case in Ultimate. He's once again got a stock lead, but 154 on him means Leo should be able to confirm into a back air here or maybe a drag down up air, which he's definitely looking for off the fair one. But Zap just staying confident in that shield, not giving it to him. Leo's going to have to keep grabbing him to condition him away from that. And how do you get a stock off such a heavy character? I would say like off this. stage is probably Junior's weakest point. But Leo hasn't landed the edge guards just yet. I think guns are amazing against this character's recovery. So maybe we'll see a bit more of that if Leo is able to get those opportunities. But blows himself up with the Mecha Koopa. Zap, very conscious of that. Of course, the Bowser Jr. player is going to be way more prepared to play around it. But even still, Leo with a massive conversion, tacking on yet another clean 50 off one hit. Oh, and now we're 0.5 away from each other as Leo takes the lead with that back air. Arsene is about to go goodbye, though, and I keep harping on it in the commentary because it's so important in this matchup. We've only seen yeah. Leo get, like, crumbs without Arsene. Yeah, Joker just does not hit the same when he's not powered up. And when you're fighting a heavy character like this, especially one that's so mobile, you want to be hitting like a oh. truck. He's just going to outpace you. Leo really trying oh. to get in close, but the Gorioka F Smash connects. The random, unprimed F Smash yep. gets him game number one when it was starting to look a little bit grim. But Leo, he spent like two weeks in Japan. He learned a thing or two from he those did, jokers. You know what's funny is we have this perception of the Japanese players as being so much more disciplined and patient than us. But then you have Gorioka. Who right. loves Who F Smash? Is, he swings like a madman, especially compared to the NA Jokers. Omega and Leo are very 
like tempered players. You know what I'm saying? Like they they're deliberate and technical. It's or, hard to think that because they play so fast. But I 100 percent agree. Yeah, yeah, they're not crazy with it, but uh, especially not Leo, who I feel like has been even when he was like 14 years old, a very deliberate and careful player. But uh, yeah, it's it's cool that he's taking a page out of another Joker player's book. And it seems like they actually got along really well, too, right? Like, they were posting, like, you know, their lunch hangout pictures <laughs> yeah. and stuff. Very wholesome and nice stuff to see. The camaraderie in this scene goes so far beyond the game, guys. Like, you know, even just hanging out with everybody last night. I haven't been to a tournament in a while. It was so good to just, just bull a little bit, you know? And we have two more full days of that here at the Luminosity Invitational back to school. Leo trying to send Zap back to school. Zap saying, hey, I already aced this test. Let me out of here. I got this. And he very nearly had that in game number one. He's going into game number two. I think he's, you know, changing the music picks, maybe checking the notes real quick, seeing what he's got to do differently. And I think the biggest thing that, in my opinion, he's got to do differently going into this game number two is how often he's committing. We saw those uppies, especially against Arsene, which is fine if Leo's trying to chase you high, but then as soon as Leo stays on the ground and is catching the really laggy landing from Bowser right. Jr. uppie, it gets a lot worse. Leo changing the drip to match the stage. I, I respect that. It's camo. <laughs> yeah, we're on, we're on blue Joker now. And a much I, better start for Leo in this game. Right, yes, yeah, Zap was ripping it at the beginning. But oh man, if he gone if he had gone for a turnaround after the drag down up there, that would have been really impressive. Even still, now Arsene is in play. This stock looking like a foregone conclusion here, trading with down air though. Gonna keep Zap alive. Ooh. Oh Yeah, Leo tried twice to erase Zap stock there, once with the high up air, and then a second time, but Third time's the charm, Max. Eventually, that back air do be hitting. And Leo, after a shaky game one, is off to the races in game number two. Even catching Zap's early up beat to try and wait out Arsene with a quick nair there. So much damage for nothing. And there is zero lag on that back air. Can we appreciate no, how the frame trap was automatic? Oh, looking for the punish on the neutral tech, but just a little bit off the mark. Zap playing from behind. Let's see how he does in this situation. When he was in control last game, everything looked great, but rushing someone down with Bowser Jr. is a tall task. I think Leo got hit by that intentionally. He still died thanks to the Mecha Koopa snipe, but Leo went really low with Aha and then ate the Bowser Jr. up B to go high again. That was almost incredibly smart, but Zap just like, no, get that out of here have to finish your food. Joker, although his recovery is really good, you can do something about it if you line everything up. I think Bowser Jr. has a great set of tools. You can cover low with the upbeat, and then you have all of your moves to cover that diagonal angle. Throwing out another Mecha Koopa Leo, just gonna stare it down and pick it up. Looking for another back air here. Instead, a dare tech chase. No, not quite. Zap's gonna be able to get up, escape, and throw out that back air to space Leo out, get him out of his personal space. Eventually, though, back air will find you, my son. Yeah, oh. it is inevitable at some point. We're seeing the guns on the recovery, but not to complete the stock, just to scare Zap into going for something risky like a high up B. Leo gonna pick that kill up real quick. Oh, back hit of down air into a full combo. No, not quite. Hang but on, the tech no. chase gives him another extension. He's still Ooh. cooking. Another extension off of the up B, but it doesn't. Uh, it does end there, unfortunately for Leo. Unfortunately for Zap, it was after 93%. Yeah, that's, oh, man. this is looking out of control here. Goes for another Drag high down. recovery, skipping the ledge with the air dodge. And Leo, are you going to close this one out right here? Is this man coming back to center stage or no? Well, a rapid jab is going to put him into a bad spot off stage to the left, especially with Mecha Koopa, but Leo just tether canceling and then air dodging up onto that platform. He is safe as a babe in a crib. And you get back. Oh! That's so <laughs> clean. I love... I love that he just uses that as a lagless B reverse. You know what I'm saying? If you could just turn yourself around a jump in the air scare. whenever you want. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Great stuff from MK Leo. Closing out the second game in dominant fashion. First time he had to make a little comeback. This time he was in control from the jump. So, Zap, you got a really tough task in front of you. You have to defeat MK Leo three games in a row without dropping one. We know he can do it, right? Like, I think skill wise, it is possible. Obviously, MK Leo is the favorite to win the set. That that goes without saying. But Zap has shown his stuff not just here, but in the, the tournaments leading up to this, particularly that qualifier. So maybe he'll get it done. I don't know. I want to see him at least get on the board, though. Make things interesting. 
PS2 pick here. Actually, the, the stage that we haven't seen this set, surprisingly. Ooh. And Zap starting to cook a little bit too, but unfortunately, Joker, a hurt box shifting menace, he just gets right out of that and then catches him trying to land with Dare a quick little A hop for some percent. The, the damage difference in output from these two characters is really starting to show itself when Leo gets into those situations. Well, you see right now how hard Bowser Jr. hits off of a couple confirms as well. Zap able to even it right back up, but DIing in on these down throws is killing Zap. It's getting him comboed at percents where you really shouldn't be. Oh, a nice little catch and nice little rising special aerial too to beat Leo out there as he was trying to lock that stock up. Yeah, Ooh, the cannonball high too. Leo kind of getting mixed on the ledge and then kind of getting run over. The clown car comes up huge and Zap takes a stop lead once more. Quickly dealt with though by that one hit of up air into the up smash. Yeah, it looked like Junior was still airborne or in the process of landing, which is why that linked so effortlessly. Normally, you got to be on top of a platform for up air up smash to work. Doesn't at ground level, but the slight elevation working out there. Uh oh, are you dead? You just should oh, be fine because you have jump. Yeah, but it was a, a, a nasty spot to find yourself in. Yeah, Leo became actionable after the air dodge a lot sooner than I expected. I thought Zap was just going to keep pushing him out there and preventing him from coming back. But here it is. A slight lead for MK Leo, but nothing you can feel too comfortable with. You see how that up air still combos oh! well into the mid percent range. Zap of the landing trap down smash as well. This is looking great. Yeah, Leo getting over aggressive on that landing, but not over aggressive Ooh. here. The perfect amount of aggression. A drag down into the up smash yet again. That's going to be the second time that stock is taken in this game with that sort of confirm. And Zap, he's, he's getting a little bit uh, into the down to the wire here. Up smash though from him. Could be his last stock of the set. Making sure to shut the lead down before it gets too out of control. But now you're in the corner. Ooh, landing hitbox on down air. And I think, you know, we were talking about how Junior sucked in Smash 4 and he's not so bad in this game. Up throw, up air, I think is a big part of that. Just gives you something to get started with. Especially at those low percents. But Zap once again getting caught by the laggy landing of his own up B. The Mecha Koopa comes up huge. Leo having a really hard time to deal with Zap's projectile traps out of disadvantage. He texts, looking for a down smash, what? That's wow. not what I was gonna say, not even close. No, I wasn't ready for that. By no means did I think that's how the match was gonna end. I knew obviously if Zap's in the corner, odds are stacked against him, but for it to just go down in a flash like that, well done by MK Leo, and well done to Zap too. I think, you know, it takes courage to to come out here and fight the best players in the world, especially after hearing all the discourse online. But he's doing his best to try to silence that. So I'm looking forward to the rest of his pools matches. I think he's got something cooking for us. Now yeah. we're going to hear some words from the GOAT. Grab that mic and uh, and tell us what you think. Yeah, they didn't find the mic over there. <laughs> it's We've got oh, it up yeah. here because it, it's oh, broken oh, okay. or something. Well, it got unplugged. No, not much. Good match. Good match. First time fighting a good Bowser Jr. I think I did it right. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, that's a gimmicky character, and you looked like you knew what was going on. Yeah, I mean, Joker is like, sometimes it feels so comfortable because you can just like follow the same game plan, like zoning, camping, the same yeah. way. And like, if you get the right combos, I think like it's done. Like, I wasn't doing anything crazy. Like, in neutral, I was just like, oh, I get an air, you're at 60 already. I, I get a sand, you're dead already. So I was just like being really careful on just not getting like super comboed and not getting cheese off stage because I know he's really like good at like mixing you up off stage. Yeah, when when you were getting uh, pushed off the stage in that last match, I thought you might have just died really early, yeah, but then you made it back. I, did you like Phantom Footstool with him or something? Yeah, I did. I was I gonna didn't. say Joker was way higher than I expected. I Phantom Footstool the upbeat. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, super crazy. Well, hey man, good start to the day. Thank you. Quick uh, three zero, right? That was a three zero. Yeah, that was yeah. a three zero. All right, and well. I, I also, one more question before we let you go and prep for your next match. Your confirms are looking really, really smooth this weekend, but you've got a lot more difficult characters to confirm against. Are you going to try and keep that same game plan against the uh, the other opponents that you have in your pool? Uh, I don't want to give any like game plans, of course, with Zomba. I think uh, I'm just going to go Joker and, like, yeah, just do what he did in the last match. I'm pretty sure she, he, like, Zomba studied it. So we'll see what happens against the Spargo. I'm not going to say what's going to happen. Hey, we saw <laughs> the Gorioka F smash. <laughs> oh, yeah. We shouted out Gorioka yeah. for you. And the down it? smash. Yeah. Yeah. I was just like, a normal get up, he's dead. But yeah, maybe against Spargo, we'll see something. You new, go maybe. Cloud and he goes Aegis, right? Yeah, <laughs> of course. No, I actually go Byleth and he goes Aegis. 
All right, well, good shit, man. Looking forward to the rest of your sets. Thank you, thank you. Always good to see Leo play, man.